everyone, it's time for us to go ahead and do a comparison that I must have forgotten to do between the Google Pixel 7 Pro and the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. Now, the S22 Ultra has been out for a little bit of time now, and you could probably say the same thing about the Pixel 7 Pro. Both these phones are the flagship counterparts of both these manufacturers. Although we do have like the folding and flipping phones from the S20, you know, from Samsung overall, I do think these two phones are probably the most well-rounded and overall best phones you can probably buy from both these manufacturers. So let's see how they compare. If you want to pick up either one of these phones, links will be down in the description. You can get them from there and you can help support the channel at the same time. Now starting off with the outside, there are obviously a few slight differences between them. Now on the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, this one came out a little bit earlier this year, and we had a 6.8 inch dynamic AMOLED display. Now, this is, in my opinion, the best panel that has came out this year. It's better than the Pixel 7 Pro. It's better than the 6 Pro. It's better than the S21 Ultra. It's better than pretty much all the other panels that have came out this year, including the 14 Pro Max. I've said this for a long time now. Samsung makes probably the best phone panels when they put their heart and soul into it. And within this panel, they did a tremendous job. And I was so happy when they dropped the S22 Ultra. This thing has 120 hertz. 7, 1,750 nits of brightness, which is crazy, and it's an overall amazing panel for sure. On the Google Pixel 7 Pro, this one also has a really, really good panel. It's a 6.7 inch LTPO AMOLED display, 120 hertz on this panel too. You can get up to 1,000 nits of brightness with 1,500 nits on its peak, 1440p, and it is a beautiful display as well. It is very similar in the design kind of with the Galaxy S22 Ultra. The only difference is the S22 Ultra has like flat sides on the top and bottom, with a the Pixel 7 Pro still kind of curves, which I do like a lot. I will say the Pixel 7 Pro probably feels more comfortable in the hand for most people. I know personally that's how I felt, but I think the S22 Ultra still is a very good panel for sure. It's a very good design as well. Now both these have USB-C ports on the bottom, and they both are starting to kind of get a little bit better. You know, S22 Ultra has Samsung DeX, but Android has been getting better in that space as well. I will say Samsung DeX is more refined, but hopefully with stock Android, it gets a little bit better and you can kind of have like a full-on desktop experience in that standpoint as well. No expandable storage in either one of these. And on the back, very interesting setup. So with the Pixel 7 Pro, we do have that standard glass pack. So it's not frosted, nothing else crazy. And I do think the design, I think looks really good. It looks very, very sleek. But I will say with the S22 Ultra, the back of this phone, I am a fan and not a fan of. I'm a fan of that frosted glass back. I love it and I think it looks amazing, but I just don't like how the camera is situated. Like I understand it's on the top left, but I do think it just kind of weirds me out a little bit. I'm not too sure why. I like how that Pixel 7 Pro, that camera, even though it's a camera bump, I like how it kind of looks. I don't really like how the cameras look on the S22 Ultra, but I love the frosted glass back, so it's kind of like a flip-flopping thing. Another big thing to keep in mind is that the Ultra has that S Pen built in, which is amazing. That is a really cool feature. For those who don't know, it's like a stylus you can use, and it is really awesome. It comes with a ton of features built in, and I love that. And it comes with it built in, which is so awesome. So again, having that type of capability is really cool, and I'm glad we have that type of capability on the S22 Ultra. Now, both these phones support wireless charging and reverse wireless charging, which is really awesome. And otherwise, I mean, that really kind of covers it up. There's really not like a crazy amount different between them. They also have 5,000 million power batteries inside of them as well. So pretty much the exact same thing when it comes down to it, which is so wild. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up there. Now, in terms of the actual like software and longevity, this is a very interesting thing between them two. If I had to guess, I would probably say a phone like the Pixel 7 Pro is probably going to last probably as long, if not longer than the S22 Ultra. The thing is, is that both these manufacturers have been switching things up right now like crazy. I would say right this very second, I would probably assume that the Pixel 7 Pro is going to outlast the S22 Ultra, but there's still a very high chance, which we've seen in the last like two, three years, that Samsung is going to improve their software longevity. Google's going to improve their software longevity. Like they can go ahead and just increase like, oh, the Pixel 7 Pro is not getting an extra year. Oh, the S22 Ultra is getting an extra year from Samsung. So they've done this before. They're probably going to end up doing it again in the next four years. So I will probably say that both these phones are going to be lasting very long amounts of time. And we are now in a position where I wouldn't look at like both of these phone manufacturers and be like, oh, you have to go buy this one because of the software longevity and all this one. I don't think that's the case. Before, also with One UI versus stock Android, I think a lot of people stuck with stock Android. But now I think with One UI and with the improvements they've been putting on their software, I think that that has been, you know, pushing a lot of people over to go towards One UI, including myself a little bit, than stock Android. You know, there's a lot more development going on over there, which is very, very exciting. So that kind of covers it up there as well. Now in the camera department, this is crazy because there are so many moving pieces. 
On the S22 Ultra, we have a 108 megapixel wide angle lens, 10 megapixel telephoto lens, another 10 megapixel te periscope telephoto lens, a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera, and those are a lot of sensors for sure. On the Pixel 7 Pro, we're getting a triple camera setup, a 50 megapixel wide, 48 megapixel telephoto, and a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera. Now we can do 4K at 60 on the back and the front of both of these, but the S22 Ultra has 8K capability, which is amazing. Now, in my opinion, I've said this for so long now since the S22 Ultra came out, I believe that phone has the best camera this year, to be honest. I think it's better than pretty much every other phone that's came out. I think the 14 Pro Max comes close, and I think the Pixel 7 Pro between all of them comes in third place. I feel like with the Pixel 7 Pro, the same issues I've had with the, you know, S, with the Pixel 6 Pro, with the Pixel 5, with the Pixel 4, they just are not putting that many crazy features into the cameras compared to Android, compared to specifically One UI and with the S22 Ultra. I pick up a Galaxy S10, it's crazy the amount of features that camera has for how old that phone is, and Apple is the same exact way. Both Google and both iPhones, they both suffer in the exact same thing, which is so annoying. There are features that Sam Samsung has put into their cameras right now that we will probably see Apple talk about in their keynote next year that they're going to spend 45 minutes. It's going to be the thing they're going to like try to sell the next iPhone on. Now, probably not that extreme, but essentially what I'm trying to say is I think the S22 Ultra definitely has a really solid camera and I do think it's the better camera here for sure. You know, I love that camera. I think it's awesome. I think the Pixel 7 Pro though, it's a really good camera too. It's not as clunky, I would say, as the S22 Ultra, but I love that clunkiness. I love having all those features at my possession if I need it. And I think that's a really cool thing going for the S22 Ultra. So in the camera department, I'd probably say that one is better. Now in the performance department, this is another very interesting thing. With the S22 Ultra, we have that Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chipset. You can go up to 8 gigs of RAM all the way up to 12. With the Pixel 7 Pro, you can go and get that Google Tensor G2 chipset inside and the same exact RAM specification. So it starts at 8, goes up to 12. So in the RAM department, pretty much the same. You can kind of spec it out however you want to. But within that chipset, I've done so many comparisons between not only the Pixel 7 and the S22, but also between the Pixel 7 and the S20, Pixel 7 and all these other phones, Pixel 7 versus Pixel 6. And I've been seeing something very interesting. The Pixel 7 has to kind of have a lot, like a little bit more work to be done, I would say. I feel like that chipset, much like the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro when that first came out, it needs a lot of improvement. But a lot of people have said the same exact thing about the S22 Ultra with that chipset inside. A lot of people have been hating on the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, and that's why they were so excited when the 8 Plus Gen 1 came out, because it was such a bigger upgrade than what the 8 Gen 1 was. Personally, I had a great experience with it, but battery life was just not that great on the 8 Gen 1. But right now, I'm also seeing the same exact thing with the Pixel 7 and 7 Pro, with that battery life not being that great either. So I will say in the performance segment, both of these will suffer the same exact thing for the time being. But I think as software, you know, gets improved and as things get improved over time, this will probably end up fleshing itself out. I think as of right now, the Pixel 7 Pro is the smoother phone. But I think the S22 Ultra still kind of is the faster phone. And if you're wanting the faster phone, maybe the S22 Ultra is the better way to go for the time being. But I think the 7 Pro is probably the smoother one. And you're going to be getting like less like glitches and things like that. But I've been getting a lot of glitches on the 7 Pro as well. So I guess we're going to see what happens there. But to kind of sum up this whole entire comparison, what I'll tell you is, is that I think if I had to go and buy one of these, if I can buy a Galaxy S22 Ultra for less than what I can buy a brand new Pixel 7 Pro for, I would probably end up buying an S22 Ultra. I think that would be the better way to go. And I think that phone has a ton of capability for sure. Now, I think the Pixel 7 Pro is the most well-rounded phone. I don't think this phone is like the craziest, like it's excelling in any crazy way. But I do think if you're just wanting a phone and you're just wanting to get the craziest amount of experience, but you don't want to deal with like anything else, then I think the 7 Pro might be the better way to go, you know? But that's not to say the S22 Ultra isn't a great phone. Like the S22 Ultra is probably the one of the best phones of this year, but I like the Pixel 7 Pro as well because that phone has a lot of the features that the S22 Ultra has, but brand new, it is a much cheaper phone, which I actually do appreciate. But like I said, if you can buy an S22 Ultra for less than what you can buy a brand new 7 Pro for, I'll probably end up buying that phone. So that kind of covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button on me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.